So I got uh, several comments asking me to further explain what's going on with my grinder here. And I think I'm going to do that because I now straightened out the one little wonky bit about it. Um, nice thing about this grinder is that it's able to take care of spiders very nicely. You don't lose the uh, the string if, if they drop it. Here's some string down here. And um, I also rigged it up so that if chickens or slimes or something uh, somehow get through this, uh, the, the lava here, they won't clog up the system and actually be killed in that uh, lava block right there. Sometimes pigs get through too. But the, this, this works nicely. Um, you can't really see what's going on right now because we're in a black obsidian tower that doesn't exactly uh, allow for a great degree of maneuverability. That and um, I don't really want to break all this glass unnecessarily. And uh, if I break something wrong, I'm going to kill myself. Um, and and I don't actually like doing that. So I'm actually going to go off and uh, build one from scratch for you guys. So here we are in a completely 100% safe place. Um, where I can show you how to make this uh, grinder. And the way I'm going to do that is actually to uh, build one completely. Right exactly like this one. I'm um, just going to walk around a bit for those who want uh, a reference of how things are laid out. I removed all um, unnecessary blocks. By unnecessary, I mean they're not supporting things. Um, you need a lot more blocks than this to keep the uh, mobs from jumping out and such. But there's the uh, primary lava wedge that kills everything. Here's the primary conveyor. Um, this is what kills the spiders, this cactus here. Uh, this kills the chickens and uh, pigs and slimes. And this bit here condenses the three streams, because that's three streams, three streams wide there, into a singular stream, into a singular hole. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and start building one right next to this one for you guys now. Okay, so never mind what's going on over there. This is... Yeah, this, this should be safe. So, right. First thing we're going to do is just like this. We're going to... No, actually, first thing what we're going to do is to create a hole. This is going to be our drop hole. Right there. And 8 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is where that central flow is going to come down. So right, right there. So that means around that we're going to place our blocks. I'm just using glass so you guys can see. Oops. So you guys can see. Oh, I made that way too big. I'm a little tired. You don't need to make it out of glass, just like you don't need to make a tower out of obsidian. Uh, there are only two pieces of glass you actually need this, and I'll highlight which ones those are. But if you were to take your lava, your lava, your water, and drop it here, it'll flow eight squares and not actually fall into this point, which is just fine, because when you 
have stuff in this flow, it'll still eventually fall into this hole. Yeah. I'm going to assume that you know stuff like that, but I, I showed you just in case you you didn't. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to build up one level. And put in a couple pieces here. So that it's just this one open hole right here. And then we're going to uh, follow the pattern like I do here. Okay, so now you have a basin for the water that is three by three with the hole at this block and an extra space here right here and this is where you need to have the glass blocks right here and right here this is where you're going to be putting the water I actually need the water that I put right there you need to put one right there oop, right there and one right there so as items fall into this area here they're all going to go into this one flow here so as items fall, they're only going to fall into these three spots here. They're all going to flow into that, position, that spot right there. And they're all going to come out into the hole. Into the collection hole here. And then from there, you want to pull out your signs and put one of them right there. Right, right there. And on top of that, you want to put one sand block. And on top of that one sand block, you want to put one cactus. This is the cactus that's going to kill the spiders. And anything else that gets through and, and comes in contact with it. And I'm actually going to need some more water later, so I'm going to make an infinite spring from what I have here. And put them back. Now, if this isn't uh, glass right here and right here underneath those two blocks, it's actually going to straighten out, and it's like having a third block of water. And when that happens, you get items stuck. You get items stuck right here and right here. So these actually need to be glass, because with glass, for whatever reason, things don't actually... Uh, straighten out like you would with stone or something. And so now I think it's that fall right here and right here. Now go into the hole and eventually end up over here. Right, so next step is to build up around these three blocks here. The block above the empty space there where the sign is, and these two here. And one on either side here. You whip out your three remaining signs. You need four signs for this, the way I do it at least. And put one here, put one here, and put one here. And then right there, you take your lava and actually put it here. And with the signs in this position, they aren't actually going to flow out anywhere, except for where they are right now. And it's getting dark, so I'm going to take a nap and start this again tomorrow. So now we are at 
about the halfway point for this. Yeah, about the halfway point. Now we build out just a bit. It's easier to follow what I'm doing by sight than trying to explain it. Build eight blocks out, actually nine blocks out, um, from this one counting as one. So one, two, three, and make a platform and build up the back here, one level. And since we're going to be putting water in here, we need to put the sides on it too. If you're actually going to be using this for mob grinding, you are, you are actually going to want to uh, box this off completely. But since this is just for show, I won't, I won't waste time with doing that. Right. So I'm going to need, for this, three buckets of water. With stone, you'd only need two, but since this is glass that I'm putting it on, I'm going to need three. If you're doing this with stone, which is, you know, generally advisable, ouch. Ah, uh, yeah, two buckets of water is going to be enough. One bucket bucket, three bucket, okay. See how it's straightened out? Okay. If you only do the two, it's actually going to uh, have a lot of items stop. Whoop! I got pushed all the way over. If you only use two buckets, items are going to get stopped right right where I'm standing right now. Notice I'm not actually getting pushed off the edge anymore. But with one in the center, since it's glass, yeah, all the way out. And then from there, use ladders here and and signs down there. I mean, you could put ladders down there and signs up here, or ladders up and down, or only signs up and down. I, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I do it this way. Um, but yeah. And then you put in your, just to be safe, and put in my three buckets of lava. And there you have it. Two basically identical mob grinders right next to one another. Look at that. Happy grinding.